coming up, shoppers ready to cash in on deals at Crazy Days in Brookings, the community's hope from this summer event. Even with an ongoing pandemic, plans are underway for the first full-scale golf event in the world, and it could be right here in Sioux Falls. Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to those stories in just a bit, but first let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Good morning, you two. Good morning, everybody. Expect hot and humid conditions not only for today, but I think this will carry over straight into this coming weekend, at least for the first half of the weekend. And then things will slowly cool by Sunday as we are watching for showers and thunderstorms already this morning across parts of eastern and southeastern Kettleland. But as we cool into the second half of the weekend and early next week, we'll continue those chances for showers and thunderstorms as you see that in the outline. Partly cloudy and hot for today, remaining hot and humid for the weekend as we do cool next week. We'll also bring in the rain chances. The skies become partly cloudy later today. We'll have temperatures in the low to middle 90s. And I think these types of temperatures will continue for the next couple of days. More details on your forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks a lot, Scott. The COVID-19 pandemic has been hard on local businesses all across Kelloland. That's why downtown Brookings hopes their annual Crazy Days sale can help boost business this weekend. The sales will start Friday and last through Saturday. On top of the crazy deals, though, shoppers can also enjoy live music and food trucks. So the 24th and 25th and, and the businesses will vary on how they're approaching that. I know some businesses only go Saturday, so come out both days. I mean, there's something there definitely on both. <laughs> For more information on the event, visit this story on Kelloland.com. Many business owners in Kelloland have felt the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Lori Johnson owns Encore Child Care Center. She was supposed to open her business in March, but was delayed due to construction. Her next plan was to open in June, but the pandemic changed those as well. We started again with a different date of June 1st and went back to hiring again, um, got families in again, and then COVID happened. And so families' uh, situations changed quite a bit, but I know there are plenty of families out there. Johnson will now open her business on August 3rd. She says they will be doing temperature checks daily and extra cleaning to help keep everyone safe. After budget cuts, the Sioux Falls Municipal Band is on the chopping block. The city's proposed budget for 2021 has cut the band from the Parks and Rec Department. The money cut for the program is about $130,000. It's been around for more than 100 years. Members are hoping to save it before the City Council finalizes the budget and hope fans will email their City Council members. Keep it positive. That's the big thing I want to stress. This is nothing personal. This is something that um, we need to uh, just show them what the band means to so many aspects of our community. Mayor Paul Tenhaken wasn't able to do an on-camera interview, but sent a statement. He says due to the economic impact of the pandemic, we've had to make some tough choices in the proposed 2021 budget and that this budget reflects priorities within the One Sioux Falls framework of maintaining our current infrastructure and assets and continuing to provide core municipal services that residents rely on daily. The South Dakota High School Activities Association Board of Directors voted unanimously on Wednesday to proceed as scheduled with fall sports. The 8-0 vote follows Monday's recommendation by the Fall Sports and Activities Task Force to proceed as planned. Executive Director Dan Swartos says no items of significance were changed from the task force's proposal, which covered everything from player eligibility after testing positive for COVID-19 to fan attendance. Boys and girls soccer, girls tennis, and competitive cheer and dance are set to begin practice on August 3rd, with football, volleyball, and cross country to follow. Even with that ruling, not every school district is on board with starting up sports. The Eagle Butte School Board says athletics during the fall season will be canceled. While the school seems to have its mind made up, Chairman Harold Fraser says the tribal government hasn't yet. Fraser says he will have a conversation with the school board in the coming week. He is not sure when they will make a final decision. I've been trying to uh, convey to all the schools here, regardless of uh, of what, uh, whether they're a public school or Bureau of Indian Affairs or a tribal grant school, um, you know, we don't know what uh, August is going to be like. Um, you know, it seems like with this pandemic, things uh, change you know, from a weekly to even daily basis. Fraser is asking schools to come up with plans to have school regardless of what is happening with COVID-19. He adds that if school buses need to get through checkpoints on the reservation, they will not be turned around. 
And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. All right, weather this morning. Well, we're looking at some thunderstorms around Harrisburg. Over an inch of rain. Wow, what a difference just a few miles makes. I mean, there's many of you that are getting missed out almost altogether, but a few of these cells still on radar this morning. So keep checking back with that here throughout the duration of the morning into the early afternoon. I do think 95 today in Pier, it's going to be a hot, uh, breezy forecast. Rapid City, two in the middle 90s. And the humidity level is not as great in the west, and the fire danger is higher. We've had some trouble out here with couple of at least one fire near Black Elk Peak and we've got to be mindful of that if we get another cell or two that pops over the Black Hills there could be some dry lightning there. Otherwise it looks like tomorrow will continue well above normal uh, middle and upper 90s widespread and then we'll see if we fire up some storm chances better risk late in the day into tomorrow night that is a severe weather outlook for winter Valentine Chamberlain and Aberdeen and uh, some of that activity could roll to Sioux Falls. We'll see if that'll happen after midnight tomorrow. Otherwise, it looks like a little better chance of rain Saturday night, Sioux Falls area. In the short term forecast, 90 today in Sioux Falls. We're expecting those 90s to increase across the region for Friday and Saturday, and then cooling early next week as a cold front arrives on Sunday, and that'll bring with it probably the best chance of rain for Sioux Falls. Aberdeen will also get those hits of rain again tomorrow night. Could be a good setup here. We'll continue to watch that. I do think mid-80s next week will feel better, and Rapid City and Pier also looking at a couple of real hot days here. 99 tomorrow in Pier, and it looks like close to 94 in Rapid City. But cooling after that, more details right here at Kettleland.com. Have a great day.